Okay. So last time we use, I don't know if you remember, we use integer constraint to set up to make the decision variables, the x, y's to be um, integer. And this time, uh, this is called like part of network model. So network model, basically we either, we can assign uh, points with different routes or like the, in this case is to assign different jobs to machines, okay? And um, so for this case, we want to, we have different machines that can perform different jobs. And then they will take, let's say different hours to finish certain jobs, okay? So machine one can do job one, but it will take 14 hours. But for job two, machine one will only take five hours. So, so on and so forth. Okay, so this is the given information. And I just put this number. Let's see, this is given. We just use blue. And then this is where we are going to use Excel to decide, use Solver to decide. So it's like the um binomial decision you know like binomial model binomial means like two right so we will use either zero or one it's very similar to the um the computer the computing you know system so they give zero or one uh, commands to everything right so this one would give zero or one if we are going to assign machine one to do job one, then here it will be zero, I mean, it will be one. But if no, we are not going to use machine one to perform job one, then it will be zero, okay? So that will be our unknown, that will be the X, X and Y, X. So I'm just put the pink one, oops. So, so this is easier to, you know, to, to, and then different machine have their capacity. So if we assign machine one to do job one, then that's it because machine one can only do one job. Okay. So here we'll put the, uh, in equal, on uh, equal sign. So it should be less equal. Less equal than one. And then machine two is less equal to two, you know, so on and so forth. So again, when we see this sign, usually on um, solver model, so we know either, you know, with this part less equal than this part. So that's where you are going to put on your constraint, okay? Or, so when you see this, it's either left less equal, greater equal, or equal to the right side, or like in this case. So we also need to make sure the job will be done. Okay, so in this case, this will be, oops, this will be equal, okay? So we want to make sure this job will be done. Be equal to one. So again, this is another constraint. So another constraint will be the machine on um, jobs here. This line will be equal to one, okay? But we run solver. So that's something that you will have to, you know, know, from, you will have to be very familiar with. So so this one, the job on um, you know, machine one, it will be just equal to the sum of this. Okay, and then we can just scroll it down. And again, I always double click on the last one, see if it's at the right place. If it is, then that's good. Okay, and then here also, the machine on jobs is the other way. So it's, you know, whether or not a job is being done. 
So, so we want to make sure this is equal to one. Okay. And then our um, objective is to minimize the total time. Okay. So this is the time to finish, you know, uh, using machine one to do job one. And then, you know, so we, and then we know here, we're going to put zero or one. So if we assign this machine three to do job one, then it will be three, I mean seven, right? So we use this area, this cell times that cell. So the, the, the formula we should use here is some product. Some product of the whole area. So you guys know what it means, right? So basically they will use the, the they will add up the product of the corresponding cells, like this one times that one, and then this one times the top one. Okay, the C C6 times C15 plus C7 times C16, and so on and so forth. So when we do some product, the two area has to be the same. Okay, you cannot do this way, like this is four times five, and then you do the other way, five times four, you cannot do that. You have to always have to be the same area, same shape. So that's our objective function. And I, I like it to be a bright color so I can see it when I run sulfur, okay? Are you guys good? Okay. Um, Sovereign. So we want to basically minimize. So click this cell and then minimize by changing the pink area. So that's the decision variables. Add the constraint. So like I say, when we see this, we know it's here less equal than here, add, and then here should be equal to one, add. So one more is we want Excel to run this X, Y, Z only with zero and one. So here we use binary, okay, this is binary. Binary constraint, so it's either zero or one. Wait, so when it's first constraint again. Yeah. Sorry? Can you show the first constraint? First constraint is here. This one less equal than this one. Correct. Okay. So yeah, so you see here, this is the first one. G15, G6 to G19, less equal than I15 to I19. So that's why we do everything like in the beginning. We put all these signs. So when you see the model, you should know those are the constraints. And what, what do we use for the cell reference for the binary one? The um for binary. Yeah. So this area. Okay. Thing. okay. So you have to do changing variables first, because you can only make changing variables to binary to integer, okay? You cannot make other things to integer, I mean, to um, the, this kind of constraint. Ready? Okay, so we solve. So it will take 14 hours if we assign this way, and we know that like, you know, some machine didn't get to do anything. And then we see that machine two uh, is relatively efficient, I guess. So machine two will be assigned to do job one and then job four, okay? And then machine three will be doing job three. And then machine four will be doing job uh, four. And then machine five, nothing. Yeah? 
This Okay. Okay. We're going to exit um, Zoom. So we have a smaller video.